it's a delight to meet two incredibly talented young men. Firstly, would you please welcome from Scotland the winner of a development tour, Nathan Gorman! Ladies and gentlemen from Northern Ireland, the winner of five development tours and a PDC title winner, it's time to meet Rocky Joss Josh Rock has lit up the world of darts and hit his first nine darter at the Grand Slam just 10 days ago. Nathan Gervin, on the other hand, has had a pretty good 2022, winning for the first time on the development tour and registering a nine darter against Adrian Lewis. Commentary for us comes from the ever youthful Alan Warren a little and the even more youthful Stuart Pike. Well, ever so kind, Ned, ever so kind. Hiding the truth, sadly. But these two of the young guns who have lit up the world of darts, especially this young man, Josh Rock, who many believe is destined to win many, many titles. And in fact, we've already, both of them, won six games to reach this stage. Uh, Gert Netchez in the semi-final uh, for Nathan Gerben, a young man from Forfa, north of the border. Well, in his semi-final, a superb win over Callan Rids, and just have a look at that. Also beating a former World Youth Champion along the way, you see there in the last 32 in Bradley Brooks, but uh, I know this event can launch a career, as we've seen down the years. Yes, and it seems to get bigger every year, doesn't it, in terms of quality? These two have got extreme quality. First leg, it's Josh Trust to throw me. first. Game on. Nine darters this year. Josh Rock, as you say, already won a Pro Tour event. Nathan Gervin is a very, very good player. Both players are on the right. 96 in Wigan. And these are the last two. 120. Oh, good confident start from young Nathan Gervin. Well, Josh Rock has already qualified incredibly for the World Championship through the Pro Tour Order of Merit. 123. But a win here for Nathan Gervin will make sure he books his spot at the Ali Pali. If he doesn't, if he there'll be three places on offer for the qualifiers, the PDPA qualifiers in Barnsley tomorrow. 52 players will be battling it out Easy. for arguably the biggest prize of the year. Yes, and four former PGL World Champions in that 52. Three or four players that played here this weekend. 
That's what be jaunting off tonight, Stuart. Barnsley bound. Sixty-five. First to six. Ten thousand for the winner. Five thousand for the runner-up. Both already guaranteed places in the Grand Slam next year for reaching the final. Four hundred and thirty-four. To reiterate, Gerben has to win to get to the Ali Pali. Great setup shot there from Josh Rock. With himself tops on throw. Forty-five. Josh Rock. Forty. For the opening leg, on throw. Yeah, on the first leg, Josh Rock. Well, down the years, the throw first. Game. Michael Smith, Max Hopp, Corey Cabby, Keegan Brown, twice Dimitri van der Berg, Luke Humphreys, Bradley Brooks, Ted Evans. And in the very first couple of them, Six. Michael van Gerwen was beaten in both the finals by Aaron Monk and James Hubbard. I know Monk is still playing a bit, but... 140. Not seen or heard too much of James Hubbard recently. Oh, some incredible names there, Stuart. In the professional circuit now, so it's a big stepping stone for any player. From a development tour to the World Youth Championships. Not looking for a max. 180. Challenging the Gervin throw very early in this match. Well, the next big dance oh. star, that's a tag that's been attached to Josh Rock. He was got to the Grand Slam, lost to Van Gerwen in a thriller in the last 16, oh, despite his brilliant fun. mind after He a lot of the first round to Cameron Menzies. Learning all the time. 38, Josh Uruguay, 76. Just lost his way a little bit, Nathan, in the last couple of visits. Seventy-two. Well, he will return, Gervin on 175. The young man from Scotland, a product of the Alan Souter Darts Academy. In our broth, Souter, his mentor, I'm sure he'll be watching hey, the one. Angus Darts sure Academy. Great player, Souter. Top guy as hey, well. On the second leg, Josh Rock. There's nothing you can do. The leg, it's Josh to throw first. Oh, Josh Rock goes 2-0 in front. Yes, wonderful start from Josh Rock. Great to see friends and family here supporting both these players. I'm sure there's plenty at home as well. 93. They'll be as nervous as both these two young players on stage. Aaron Monk has been playing in the in the Modus Live League. 95. Actually, big young Nathan Gervin in that tournament. Monk had the potential didn't he I suppose you could say for the same for James Hubbard didn't quite crack on Michael Smith won it in 2013 58. Corey Cabby sadly no longer playing on the tour Luke Humphreys who's now in the world top five so it's a breeding ground for the stars of the future the start of the progression everything else is there in place if you're good enough 78. There's all the friends and family. Emma, Nathan's girlfriend, they're right at the front. Grandparents. Oh, Jock and Sandra. 140. Great visit Joshua from Nathan Gwarth, there, 40. but maybe too late in this leg with Rock on tops. Yeah, on the third leg, Josh Rock. Yeah, just used the dart as well, didn't he? He was always a, going to be a big favourite simply because of the experience he's had, you know, winning on the Pro Tour already this year and two big TV events recently. And experience will count for a lot. And the quality he's providing, certainly in the latter part of the year. When we talk about progression, the first four or five months, he didn't do anything. No, I mean, I think the concern is if there is going to be a concern that there is too much weight put on his shoulders to oh, succeed straight away. And there's no doubt he is a hugely talented young man and he will win big tournaments and who knows, he, oh, he will win a world championship. That's what the experts are, are saying. But 
it would be a little unfair to to burden him Fair with great not. expectations. But you know, to, to be fair to him, he's the type of guy who, who just takes it on the chin. He'll get on with it. I think he actually enjoys that weight of expectation, the no, pressure. But it'll take time. Yes, he certainly believes in his own ability. He loves the limelight. I can assure you of that. And Nathan looking to fill it in. Disappointed with the last Joshua one, but he's left himself a decent finish at 120. This is the big one. Not to be. Another one of those that will leave double. And a great setup shot from Josh Rock. This is the quality he's been showing over the last six, eight months. What a chance here for Gervin. First start to the double in this final. 81. Well, set Maguire, himself 36. and couldn't believe where it actually ended up there because it looked like he was just setting himself at the right angle. Will he get another shot? No score. Nathan Uruguay, 39. It can happen. Well, it's a lifeline here for Nathan Gervin. Really should have been 4 0 in a race to six. Double 16. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Just held it together there. Josh, to throw first. Okay. Josh Rock not only eyeing the title, I'm sure he'll be eyeing the biggest average, the highest average in a World Youth final. Dimitri van den Berg in his two wins over Josh Payne and Martin Schindler, averaging 101 and 100 respectively. Rock over 102 as it stands. Yes, and that's good to see as well, Stuart, when you've just missed three darts at a double. And then... You start with a max, or maybe two. Oh, oh. This is incredible. Easy. He hit that magical nine data against Van Gerwen in a thriller at the Grand Slam of Dance. Oh. One on to nine data in the final of the World Youth Championship. Yeah. It's on. Oh. Oh. Great effort. Great effort. It. Yeah, it was. Ooh. Bit the adrenaline, it's just the, the way he plays as well. Gives himself double ten. Go on, Nathan. Oh, lucky with the last one. Josh Uruguay, 20. 106 and a half. This for 4 1. Yeah, shot the fifth leg. Josh Rook. Took leg is Nathan throw first. Outstanding, really. Yeah. What else can you say, Stuart? Well, the kid's a superstar. I mean, we said it at the Grand Slam. We'll say it again now. I have no doubt that Nathan Gervin will make his mark on the on the pro tour over the, the coming years. But he will have to go to Q School. Josh Rock has got the the ability and the time to make a huge name for himself. Look at that 107, and with those missed outs of the double. 97. Good recovery with the second one and the third. That's He's trying to G himself up. The dark that was. Took his time. 100. Found the angle. Yeah, just sure 164. Ill time flyer for Nathan Gerben. Still a superb visit. Averaging over 107 in this final now, Josh Rock. Oh, brilliant from the young Scott. Oh, well, that was unlucky. That really was Josh unlucky. Yeah, he fancied that, didn't he? It was a good angle for him as well. Yeah, it's on the sick leg, Josh Rock. It's a leg, it's Josh. Well, Josh Rock, in no time at all, takes a sip of water, composes himself, and gets ready to Game. throw for the title with a 107.35 average. He's not going to let it go, is he? All 125. I feel so comfortable 
up on that big stage to yeah. it so early in his career. Yeah. And uh, it was at the Grand Slam as well. 60. Don't forget, he was only just beaten by Van Gerwen in a, in a cracking game. The atmosphere in that game was electric. But it, it, it looks like he belongs as well. 100. He feels he belongs, but, but when you watch him... He has that swagger. 98. No arrogant, not an arrogant swagger, but a, a swagger that he belongs in the big time. Self-belief, confidence, you name it, it's there. He's looking for another maximum. 140. 108.75. Yeah. He's going to smash the record, you would think. 92. Dimitri Joshua Vandenberg, 101 against Josh Payne. Another. Can he win it in style? No, well, unlucky. You look at travel 13. Travel 17, maybe. 82. I mean, you've got to feel sorry for, for young Nathan Gervin. His time will come down the years, I'm absolutely certain. But Josh Rock. 140. He's been an absolute Josh star. 54. Here we go. For the crown. And the title. 44. Nathan Eurymire won 111. Look to the heavens. Just lost a bit of composure at the moment there. Yeah, his heart was racing, wasn't it? He did the treble. Can't do it now, so Josh Rock will 79. return. 79. Josh Eurymire, 10. Game and there seven. it and the is, and the Josh Rock is crowned the World Wimble, Youth Champion Wimble, with a record you. average of Josh 104, Rock. not a lot that Nathan, Nathan German can do about that. But what a player Josh Rock is, he takes £10,000 away with him, but it's a crown, it's to be called the World Champion, and it's the World